हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एफ एंड कुमार इज बैक विद द इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो एंड लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग अबाउट द क्वेश्चन अबाउट इफ दे दे कैन गो फॉर ई सी ब्रांच एंड डज इट हैव अ गुड यू नो प्रॉस्पेक्ट विद रेस्पेक्ट टू फ्यूचर एंड इज इट सिमिलर टू यू नो सी एस सी ब्रांच विच ऑल्सो हैज़ अ गुड पोटेंशियल सो कैन दे टेक ई सी इन स्पाइट ऑफ सी एस सी इज ई सी ऑल्सो गुड ऑप्शन इन इंडिया एंड वॉट आर द यू नो हाइस्ट पेइंग जॉब्स इन ई सी सो दैट्स मेकिंग दिस रिव्यू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद एंड सो फर्स्ट जॉब प्रोफाइल यू कैन सिलेक्ट इज यू नो सीनियर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियर और द सीनियर टेक्नोलॉजी इंजीनियर राइट इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो दिस इंजीनियर जनरली डेवलप एंड डिजाइन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इक्विपमेंट्स राइट विच इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जॉब एंड वेन द डिजाइन एक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इक्विपमेंट इट कुड भी कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स यूजिंग जी पी एस और द ग्लोबल पोजिशनिंग सिस्टम्स राइट सो दिस टाइप ऑफ जॉब्स आर इन देयर इन मोस्ट ऑफ द मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज इंक्लूडिंग लाइक सम हनी वेल्स एंड डैन फॉस ईटॉन डेल टेक्नोलॉजी यू नो and then bosch india so bosch is one of the best companies for electronics and the electrical students and same with the honeywell it's a best company for electronics electrical and the mechanical students so these are few of the companies and the eton is a very large size multinational company in india and these are just few few of the names i have not covered all but these are the potential employers you will see in most of the uh, you know campuses in engineering college especially bosch and the honeywell so the, what type of uh, salary you can expect in this domain is something like an average salary of 8 lakhs and up to highest salary of 17 lakhs you can expect in this type of profile at the start of your careers and they may require you have do to have a good electronics hardware knowledge as well as some coding language knowledge also right so you need a electronics plus coding right and then you will you will have knowledge of a semiconductor vlsi design chip design software development and the visualization knowledge is now the second field is an electronics field engineer so so yeah, as you understand the word field is there so electronic field engineer are basically engineers who travel to different remote lake like locations and they travel to repair maintain and troubleshoot electronics mechanical components right or the equipments right so they should have a good knowledge of embedded system they should have a good knowledge of testing tools and electronic components and and these field engineers can travel to different parts of the country and and these uh, are very important positions even in the government job so even your you know navratna companies like you know bharat electronics right and others will have this type of positions or ongc or any of the the you know government public sector jobs you will find this position and even in the power you know sector companies as even in the projects based companies like you know for example udp power you can see here and these are just some of the names tvs electronics and any type of electronics company these positions will be there the third important uh, you know job you can think about is the research engineer job so research engineer job is basically researching developing and designing new products so they are you know for example new electronic gadgets or something then you will be a research engineer in that organization and you can minimum expect 4 to 6 lakhs as a starting salary so that's there in every company and uh, even in the organizations like you know linkedin which is a services company you have a research jobs for electronics and the others and, and the good companies like philips so philips is in the electronics and electrical component or sony which is in electronics and digital uh, component so those have a research and sabix which is based out of bangalore and these are just four five, four five names but there are large number of companies which are employ for research purposes the fourth job profile is of a service engineer so again the service engineer is responsible for designing installation and monitoring of electrical and the mechanical components and you can expect salary around 5.6 lakhs per annum and requires a vast knowledge of both hardware software and machines part and the type of companies which you can expect job is like a bazaar alliance you know rack space which is in the cloud space then the caterpillar you are you know uh, in chennai or in a barclays bo in pune so some of their services organization or software companies and some of them are like you know industrial or the equipment company the fifth profile of is a project engineer again the project area works in the area of you know work of like scheduling preparation and project planning project preparations resource which are required for for the project execution forecasting of those resources and everything which is related with the projects so these are services company there is no equipment there is no manufacturing and there you become a project engineer so 6 lakhs is the salary you can expect as a start of this and 
the next uh, profile you can look is a system engineer so system engineer uh, is uh, related with you know monitoring and managing of all the infrastructure in, in which is installed right so this this requires a highest level of you know system and infrastructure ability right also security uh, training should be there and this is basically participating in design and the operational support of the systems right so there you can expect a salary of around 5 lakhs and these jobs are also available in lot of governments as well as the private organizations in the government side you can expect jobs in bell you know in the research uh, facilities uh, in the you know some companies like village hp right which is a hardware company and the seventh profile you can expect is uh, with uh, electronics design job right so this is for designing electronic materials and equipments to support industrial operations so this is related with more of industry uh, work right and there you require uh, you know problem solving and the uh, you know cri critical thinking skills but their salaries will be in the range of uh, 3.2 to 10 lakhs depending upon the uh, quality of work and the type of company average salary you can expect around 6 lakhs now the eighth profile is of that of a communication engineer so as the name uh, suggests they are working on the communication devices and uh, they are responsible for research planning and development or market making of those communication devices right so they handle the budget the timelines of those uh, communication devices and they also work with the client projects they do site surveys and a lot of other works now the job the communication engineers get a good amount of job uh, into the companies which are in the service sector and uh, with the electromagnetic uh, waves you know or the electrical devices based companies as well the average salary for communication engineer will be around 8 lakhs and they can get a job in a multinational company like philips or siemens or you know a lot of you know uh, it companies like mdocs also or the you know WSP India or NSS Electronics and Comscope, some of them, those are mix of IT and the non-IT companies. The ninth one, you can work as a senior role. So that's called technical director and responsible for development of plans and understanding of different projects. And they will manage the teams also. So it's basically providing a technical guidance to the, uh, you know, teams, right, on the daily basis. And their responsibility, key work is to manage the projects. And as I mentioned, this is a senior roles, right? So your salary will be also very high and experience will be more, which is required. So electronics engineer, you know, can at least, you know, uh, experiences, you know, five years and it can go up to five to 20 years experience. And the average salary year you get is 33 lakhs and on the higher side, it can go up to 50, 60, 70 lakhs also. And the general companies having this type of role are all, you know, Reliance, Geo or, you know, any kind of IT services company or technology services company telecom services and all of them and the last one on the list is the network planning so network planning engineer so as the name suggests he will be working towards the planning of the network and the delivery of the you know uh, uh, good network services right and uh, he can work in any network organizations which can be it or a uh, non it again most of the cabling organization electronic organization where they do analytics troubleshooting customer relationship management etc so here there are many companies like uh, which are IT services company you can see the names like Amazon, Accenture, Tata Communication right or even TCS uh, there they have a good amount of network engineers and uh, they are even in the companies like Nokia and all the telecom companies right. So here the average salary will be around seven and a half lakhs and uh, uh, for a senior people the average salary can be even 12 lakhs per annum so that is quite good and that's all i have covered around 20, 10 important roles and please do take electronics as an important uh, you know subject and uh, because it has scope in different industries right so thanks and take care bye